yeah so in this video we'll see what are dictionaries okay so how do we make our dictionary uh, what's the convention it's like variable name uh, variable name equals to curly braces uh, but in this we have something now key and a value so in this way it's structured so if we want to create one so so i'll see user henry let's use user henry and then it will have curly braces it will have the it will have the key uh, name so name would be henry and then comma and then another key would be age it would be 18 comma then uh, gender it would be male and uh, adult In this way, this is a dictionary. I will print uh, type of user uh, type user entry. It's a dictionary. See, it's a dictionary. So, and if we we'll print uh, user entry, this is how it gets uh, structured. So, name entry, age, eighteen, gender, male, adult, true. So, this is way much more easy uh, for. Uh, organizing things before we have to make four list or a four set or four different uh, four different tuples just to just to hold one single data so now we could use use uh, uh, use dictionary for holding uh, data of a single user so all comes in a single package okay. and uh, now uh, this is how we create data and uh, we could always uh, how we index it like it's we index it by using key so if you'll see this name age gender and adult these are all keys so if i'll go for name index it by name so you will get the handy key and the value this is a key if you'll index key you will get the value okay this is how you do it so it's kind of ordered and uh, changeable also and duplicates are not allowed. Uh, duplicates are not allowed means no two keys should be matching. So if I'll go for name again and I'll go for Nick. See. So the name uh or sorry, Henry. User Henry and name. So I have to change this. See. So name Henry. So no two duplicates will be allowed. Uh, see, either it will be Henry or either it will be name. Uh, sorry, Nick. So no two duplicates will be allowed. So that's why duplicates are not allowed. Okay. So then you could also get the same thing by use uh, same length function. You could get the length four four key value pair. So four. That's why four. And you could have different different uh, data there, as we saw string data integer then string then boolean so in this way you could use a dictionary for all the things so we saw how to access uh, we saw how to access data using the keys okay using keys so age if i'll go for age then it will give age in like in key value keys okay Friends. see it giving me 18 so this is how you get uh, access uh, age and if you what if you don't know the uh, keys of all those things now I could see it but what if you don't know so you could use uh, keys function on dictionary to get all the keys see it will come in a uh, key name age gender adult are the keys in the same way you could also do it for uh, values so what are the values in all those keys values and you will get all the values Henry 18 male true so whatever those values would be okay now what if you want all those things in a uh, in the same way so we'll go for items so if we get items so name would be entry age would be 18 gender would be male adult true. so it's now get, getting us all those items with key and values both included so these are the three function that we could use uh, okay and if you want to change the uh, change the data so in the same way uh, just like we index it so we could do what age copy age would be now 20 okay 
and uh, if i'll check so it becomes 20. so in this way we could uh, change the data okay change the data in dictionary and in the same way we could also add data okay if i want to add data maybe uh what i could do is now is followers followers is maybe 220 and i'll remove and when i'll uh, print it out now this time there will be followers with a value of key followers with a value of 220 okay so this is how you could add data remove data okay and uh, like not remove data you could update data now we'll see how to how we could remove data so if i'll say pop uh, using pop and i'll give the key, uh, key so i'll say i'll want to remove key age so now the age will not be there okay in this way you could remove okay so yeah so if you want to empty the if you want to empty the data uh, empty the values in the dictionary you could just use clear okay so it gives us an empty uh, dictionary so yeah so next we could also what we could do is one thing is like we could use uh, dictionaries in dictionaries so it's called nested you could call it a nested dictionary so in the same way i could have user entry like let's have another uh, name like json and this goes json okay and it goes 28 okay now let's do one more CTRLV and we could go for name Jack. Jack and let's go for 48. Okay, now what we could do, I could use these three dictionaries and I could make another dictionary, uh, uh, users dictionary, where will I have uh, user one? I'll have the key called user one and the value would be uh, user ND. Okay. in the same way uh, user to uh, i'll have a key user 2 and it will have user jack okay and same way user 3 user json okay and if i'll remove this and i'll you i'll and i'll print only users dictionary you could see it's a nested dictionary so it's dictionary inside the dictionary user one is has a value of dictionary and user two has another value of dictionary and user three has a value of dictionary whole it's a whole packed with another dictionary outer dictionary so you could do nested dictionary also okay so you could go and check for more uh, documentation for a more uh, uh, functions that you could use on dictionaries okay so yeah i hope you understood data structures uh like list tuple set and dictionary and how to do indexing slicing adding and removing data and how to make one how to make uh those data structures what are the conventions and all and uh and basic methods that you could run on them and for more uh, data more functions you could go and check on documentation you will understand more which is easy not so hard to do okay so yeah i'll see you in the next video